Hello, hi, this is Vikram and uh, I am here with yet another release announcement for a new release of Pictory uh, with some tremendously exciting features that we've been working on that I'm very excited about and I'm very proud of and uh, you will uh, you'll enjoy uh, these features that I'm going to show you today. So I'm going to show you a quick demo. So um, I'm in the text to video scenario. You will now see a new tab called text. So the purpose of this text tab is that it now lets you add multiple text boxes. So as you remember before, you only had one text, one text box which represents the story. And now we have multiple text boxes and the option to add a heading or a subheading or another box of body text. So it's as easy as just uh, pressing that button and it, it, it allows you to enter this text. So we can add a heading right here and I can talk about the new creator economy. And you can also customize this text. You can say, I wanna change the font, uh, make it a little bit smaller. Uh, you can add animations to this. I say, hey, I wanna add a, a typewriter font for the uh, animation for this. And so, so that headline shows up in that animation. Or you can say, I don't want any animation and, uh, and just it keeps showing um, on, the, on the scene. I can also say, hey, I want this headline copied over to all the scenes. So all you have to do is just uh, click this and copy to all the scenes. And it will copy this headline to all the scenes. So now I have this, the new creator economy in every scene that I have. I can also change the color of either individual scene or I can change it uh, throughout. So I can change, make any changes to the font here, the color scheme of the, of the text color, the shadow color animation, and then I can save it as a style. I can say, hey, this is my new headline style and this will show up in my styles section uh, that I have. In, in, in Pictory. I can also, in addition to a heading style, I can also create a subheading style. And, and again, you can move it around. You can say, hey, I wanna move it a little bit higher. Is creating waves. And I can say, copy this to all the scenes as well. And it gets copied to all the scenes at the same location. So this is one very exciting feature that, that a lot of you have been asking for. So this is different from this story text, which is actually narrated by the text to audio piece. If you if you come if you add that, but this text, the headline and the and the subheading text or body text, won't be narrated with the with the text to video scenario. Only the story text will be narrated. Only the text that is here under the story section will be narrated by the text to video. So. So that's one feature that we're super excited about. Uh, the other one, other common use for this text is, let's say I want to add a body text and I want to add my handle here, so I so people can come and follow me on Twitter or Instagram. I can I can add that here. I can move it to the bottom right and I can say again copy that to all the scenes. So now that that text is copied over everywhere as well. So. Header, subheader, as well as body text, and you can create multiple text boxes out of these, and and you can add, uh, you can change the fonts, you can change the uh, animations, you can uh, change the color schemes for this as as well as you please. So super exciting, and again, this works in the text to video scenario, and it also works in the video editing scenario. So in the video editing scenario, let's uh, let's see how it might work. So uh, I will try that with the demo video and I will go into this customize video section. And, uh, and when I'm here, uh, when I'm in the storyboard, I can do the same thing again. I can say, hey, for this, add a header. Um, we'll call it the Obama press conference and uh, change the size again. And I can copy this to all the scenes. So, so that same that same header will now come up in all the scenes and you can also do another thing which is uh, you can change the format so let's say i want to use a vertical video but i actually want to fit the 
I don't want to zoom the video, but I want to fit it in the scene. And, up, and, and then I want to show the header and the subtitles on this section. So, so that's another common style that you may have seen where, uh, where you can have a header on the top and then the video in the middle, uh, a horizontal video in the middle and then the, uh, the footer in the, uh, in the bottom. So you may, you may need to do it for all the scenes that, uh, that you have, turn the visual off and just do it for all the scenes. So that's another use case for this uh, header and, uh, and the text, uh, the different text type boxes, the header, heading text, subheading text, as well as uh, body text. So super exciting, new feature, brand new feature, and, and, and hopefully you'll find a lot of uses for it. Now here's a second feature that I wanted to share with you. So this second feature is in the scenario, the video editing scenario as well. So in the video editing scenario, let's say you are uploading a video and uh, I'm gonna upload a file here from my desktop. It's a Zoom recording that I'm uploading. And um, now you actually have an option when you're about to upload, it says you can identify the number of speakers in the, in the video. So you can say, this, this was an interview that I did with one of our customers. So there were two people speaking and I can just say two speakers. And what this will do is when the transcription is done, it will actually show us, show me uh, the different speakers names identified as, uh, as I look through the transcript. So when it's done, when it's done, you'll see the speaker names identified. You'll see speaker one, which is uh, me. And I will change that speaker one's name to Vikram. And everywhere there is speaker one, it will change it to Vikram. And uh, speaker two is Josh. And I will change that to Josh. And everywhere you see speaker two, it's Josh. So, and you will also see this, uh, this video editing screen is, uh, has, has, uh, has had a lot of improvements. You can now see timestamps for every time you hover over a word or you click on a word or a sentence, you will see the timestamp. So this was at one minute or seven seconds. This was at one minute, 29 seconds. So, so you'll see the timestamps. You'll also see, um, well, the, you have the option still to remove all the filler words and remove the silences. They're right here on the top right. And, uh, and all that is gone from the video. And then you can also uh, do the deletion, but you'll see the menu now will change based on where you are. So if you have selected, say, two sentences and, uh, and you want to merge it, so you'll see the merge option right here. Uh, so the, we, we used to have buttons for merge and delete, and those buttons are gone now. You'll see that right here. So, so you can say, hey, I want to merge these two sentences, or I want to make a split here. I can just uh, I can right click and I will see the split option at, at any point. So split will just basically break it into two sentences. Uh, the other thing is we've improved the editing experience here quite a bit. So say you, you have this whole sentence and actually you can see uh, it got the sp spelling correct, incorrectly for Pictory. So I want to say I want to edit this whole thing. So I can just click on edit text and instead of editing word by word, I can edit the entire uh, sentence. I can still edit word by word if I need to, uh, but I can just select the whole thing and I say edit this, and and I can edit the edit the entire sentence that that I need to. So the editing has improved. This, we've added speaker identification here, and uh, and of course everything else is is similar. We we still have the the speaker identification will also show up in the text boxes that you download in the text txt for, format that you download, and. Uh, and therefore uh, all that will be retained throughout the video. So that's the second major improvement that we've released in this, uh, in this version of Pictory. And, uh, and wait, there's more. There's one more thing I wanted to share. Uh, and this is in the, in the My Subscription section. So the My Subscription section now allows you to change the number of videos. So that you had a default number of videos uh, that you get with Pictory and, uh, and say you want more videos, but maybe you want shorter duration videos. So you can change it yourself here. You can come in there, say I want, by default it'll 
keep it at 20 minutes. So I say, say I want 100 videos instead of the 60 videos that is the default. And I want to change it to 10 minute videos or 12 minute videos in this case. So, so now I can just change it for the same price. I can now change this to 100 videos and, and 12 minutes each. So, so it's pretty easy. You can go back and, and readjust it. Say I want 150 minute videos, but I want um, even shorter, 140 videos, eight minutes each. So it keeps the, the monthly price the same and lets you, uh, lets you do more videos. Or you can say, I want 60 minute videos and it'll update the price. So you have all these options. These are on the text to video options. And uh, so you can change the output video length and you can, uh, you can choose the, the number of videos that, that you want. So, um, so that's, that's another improvement in, our, in the way we're calculating the pricing and, and the output video length uh, that, that we've created. So, so that's, that's the, the improvements in Pictory that I wanted to share today. And uh, hopefully you enjoy it. And uh, thank you again for all the feedback that you, you give us to help, help make this product much better. Thank you, bye.